so I wanted I wanted to do the like the chronology right like so you were talking about seventh grade right mm-hmm. like so then what was the first action that you took and then talk about like getting involved in these different groups and what yeah did you do so seventh grade is when I started and then eighth grade I was an eighth grader so you know just chilling watch I was still watching consuming all this media um then the summer or the August before my freshman year so so we, uh, in New Jersey we start school in September so in August I signed up to volunteer um for an organization trying to get money out of politics and um so I started with that at first I wasn't very much involved but then I got more and more involved as you know things happened we were working in legislation in New Jersey to it was a transparency bill um and that's when I really got involved because so it passed the legislature but the governor decided to send it back and so not basically kind of like a veto I forgot what it's specifically called but basically send it back for revision or whatever and um I remember in like during the school day I would like I would write out the script of I would make my so at that point they didn't the organization didn't have scripts for phone banking or for to, to call our legislature or the governor's office or anything so I would make my own I would type it up in my notes app and then I would have my friends call the governor's office and I'd be like here's the script and I show them on my phone and they'd call with their phone and they do we do it in class um and um I have my one of my teachers to do it um and I would do it like every day kind of thing um just to like build kind of pressure even though it was like a group of like 10 of us doing it just like every day or every week um and although my friends like thought they were like, why are we doing this? Like, they didn't really understand it. I was like, just do it, just do it. And they did it. So I was like, even though they didn't completely understand, it, I was like, thanks for doing it. Like, thanks for like, trust me, just trust me. And they did it. Um, I love that. So did any of the teachers get upset if you did you, when you so were doing that during when, school? When we would do it, it'd be like, it would mostly be doing like a study hall kind of thing. So we were kind of free to do whatever. One time though, um, I did it during an English class and I was like, oh, can I just make a phone call outside? And I didn't really tell him why. And he was like, yeah, go for it. And so I did it then. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was like during my like own time kind of thing. Um, so that was, I guess, freshman year. Um, so, I con- so I continued to volunteer for this organization until February of this year. Um, so in, be- in the middle of that, um, in June of my sophomore or my freshman year, so right around when my school was going to end for the year, um, I started volunteering on the Burning campaign. Um, I like signed up to volunteer on like the first day he announced, um, and it was like that one of the numbers that they'd always talk about was like, oh, we had one million people to sign up to volunteer on the first day, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that's I kind of got into the friend to friend team or the national relational organizing team. And what we do is we'd have shifts there. And so I started off as a person who just phone banked. Um, I actually had a conversation, I like phone banked and I got to someone's, it was like a dialer. So it would it would be connected to your laptop and it automatically dial numbers for you. So you wouldn't have to like end the phone call and then put another phone number in and, you know. So one of the person I got to talk with was Claire Sandberg, who was the national organizing director. So she was kind of like my boss, um, like my, the boss of my boss of my boss, like she was up there. Um, and I, cause she would, her phone was in the system cause she, obviously she would sign up for, you know, whatever the thing was. And so I had a conversation with, about, with her, which is really fun um, about like, she's like, oh, how's it as a volunteer? Like, what's your experience? Do you need more support? You know, stuff like that, um, which is really cool. Um, then and then so I started off as a volunteer just like doing phones phone calls and then I volunteered to do be a moderator which would mean like I would be the shift kind of supervisor kind of thing where if anyone needed help or they had technical issues or I was like the hype person so if like someone got like a commitment from a volunteer saying oh like I'll I'll call through my friends or something I'd be like oh yay like and I put like all these emojis and slack and you know um so and then and then Bernie dropped out so um yeah I on Super Tuesday which was like when he when we kind of knew that he wasn't gonna win 
I was actually in Atlantic City for a business competition and I was in my room with CNN on while all of the kids were like, you know, wherever, you know, hanging out, you know, playing games or whatever. And I was in, I was in the room, like just watching CNN. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like I was so, that day was crazy. And that was also when, and that was the, that was my sophomore year. Um, and that was also when the first cases of coronavirus were getting in Washington state. So there was like kind of like the Super Tuesday and then first COVID cases and then COVID happened. Um, and throughout COVID, um, I, I was looking for kind of like an internship just to get more experience. And so um, I found uh, WeVote through um, Idealist. Um, and I, so I, I originally signed up as their, or like applied to be their communications and marketing intern. Um, I was the first one there. So like there was no communications team or marketing team. I worked directly with like the CEO. Um, and mostly I would first, when I first started, I was involved with um, writing newsletters and um, kind of like more like data stuff, like transferring emails from this platform to this platform. It was a lot of tech stuff. Um, then I got, then they hired like a director of marketing and communications. Um, but it, he was also volunteer, but he just had like more industry experience. Um, and when I, when we, that team started, I still was on the newspaper or the, not the newspaper, the newsletters. Um, and then we also started because it was a nonprofit, we were able to get $10,000 worth of Google ads for free, um, a month. So I was in charge of that. Um, and I gained a lot of valuable experience in Google analytics, and Google ads, I actually, um, he, the, the CEO wanted me to run or start my own team, the analytics team. And I would talk, I would like teach other interns who were like college students, um, how to use Google analytics and Google ads and what that would mean, add click to click ratio and all those like convertible things. Um, and that was a really great experience because not only was I learning a lot of skills like hard skills that I could use in other contexts but I was also it was like a civic thing so it um the app would help you um look at look and see what would be on your ballot look to see what your it was also kind of, it was kind of like a like a social networking kind of thing as well because you can connect with friends who would then you can see what who your friends are voting for and then you can see, oh, like, oh, that can like start a conversation of like, oh, I wonder why they're voting for that person. I want to vote for this person. Like, let me ask. Um, so yeah, I love that. Um, and that ended in January of 2021. Um, and then I'm wondering if I'm missing anything. I think that was it um, in terms of uh, outside organizations that I've volunteered or interned for. Um, in school, I, um, I was kind of always very involved. Um, I, my friends would joke that, um, they would call me Mr. President times four, because I was, um, president of two clubs, co-president of another two clubs, and then, um, club director of another club. Um, so I just love <laughs> leading and micromanaging, and that's just kind of the person I am. So, um, I was just in a lot of leadership things in school. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. On top of, yeah, Present. I'm trying to think of, about how many of these things overlapped and that it's <laughs> so impressive that you were able to do that and then do as well in school as you did. Yeah, it was, um, it was hard. I think I just, I don't really know how to explain it to people because when our friends was like, you always seem to have so much free time, but you always get your like work done. Like you always have so much work to do, but you always have so much free time. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really know how that happens because I, like I intrinsically cannot bring myself to start, turn something in late. Like I just can't, like I, I would rather like, I I'll figure it out. Like I'll just do it. And you know, um, I, 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 people ask me for like how I like was able to juggle everything. Um, and honestly, like, it was just like time management. I always had a calendar, my Apple Cal, like I, I use iCal, everyone else uses, uses GCal, but um, I just like how it like integrates with everything. And 
that's how I would keep track of everything. I would like time block everything. And so people would make fun of me when they looked at my calendar because I'd like, ha- like freshman and sophomore year, I would time block snack. Like I would time block that out and they'd <laughs> laugh at me. They're like, you have to, you have to remind yourself that you have to, take, you have to eat. I'm like, no, it's just like, I need to know what my time is going through so I can like get everything done. Um, and wow. yeah, that's just, yeah, that's how I'm like a very like OCD ish kind of person. So, um, even though my room is messy, I love, I just like need, I- I'm like, I get very obsessed or I compose over things. Like I get very, I, I hyper fixate over things. And, um, so I like make everything perfect, make everything color coded or, you know, that's just, I just enjoy that today. Right before this, actually, I was helping JVN, um, making his like class schedule. Um, and I was like color coding things and he was like, and I was, he was like, Oh, thank you for doing this. Like, I enjoy this. Like, don't worry. Like, I really like doing this. 